Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3D P, and today I'm going to go ahead and release a profile I created for my Ender 3 V2 um, using the Big Tree Tech SKR Mini E3 version 3 board for Clipper. I've gone ahead and put together this, and I hope you find it useful. So as I mentioned. Uh, profiles for my Ender 3B2 running the Big Tree Tech SKR Mini E3 version 3 board. So I've gotten it running, the clipper, everything appears to be correct. And what I've done is create a profile, and I've done a couple of things here that I think the community would find useful, particularly if you're new to clipper. I put some links at the top on um, the various uh, configs I used. So I used the Flipper config for the Ender 3 V2, and then I used Big Tree Tech's config, and I, I basically combined those two uh, to generate my configuration. Now, if I scroll down here, I went ahead and made all the changes for the board, but then down here towards the bottom, I fixed the Z-Safe homing, um, I have an easy ABL probe, and so I have that enabled, but then I went ahead and put in the code for BL touch. So all you need to do, um, depending on which one, you, which one you want to use or use neither, if you use neither, you just go ahead and comment out the uh, code uh, for the probe and for the BL touch. If you want to use the easy ABL, just go ahead and uncomment that. If you want to use the BL touch, just go ahead and uncomment that. And then um, I went ahead and did the screw tilt adjust, and this is optimized for the Ender 3 V2. So you should be able to use that. I've gone ahead and created the code I use for Clipper for my Cura star code. So again, you just need to copy this code, paste it into Cura. And then I have um, several different um, macros I've created and I've pulled these from various places. So I have a start print macro, a purge line macro, and then I have macros to um, create a mesh and then also to recall that mesh. And then down the bottom is my uh, printer specific information. Probably want to delete that, although I, I think the PID tuning might be all right, particularly for the bed. You go ahead and use this and then just run the configurations that I've listed up here at the top um, from Clipper. And again, that, that should get you started, but all this is working. I'm pretty pleased with how this is going. I mean, my biggest problem right now with this printer, the fact that for some reason, I think my BMG and my hot end aren't lined up appropriately. So I will get filming through so I'm gonna have to take off the BMG and see what the problem is. But from a Clipper standpoint, everything's working. Fine. The uh, bed, cal the the Z heights calibrate at least for my printer. You have to do that for your own. Uh, the probe is all working. Homing's all working. And I, I've again commented that file uh, so you know what you need to change. Um, I hope you find this useful. Uh, please uh, feel free to hit me up in the video comments. If you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm trying to be pretty good with that. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe um, and give me a like. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a great day and please don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.